Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and I'm back with my second anniversary video. Every year I revisit the voice actor spotlight and correct things I might have gotten wrong or if I have new information to share. This year I chose Michael Bell, whom I was lucky enough to interview in 2022. And if one thing hasn't changed from the first video is that Michael Bell blows me away. While doing research I discovered he did voice work for a character that had a lot of impact on me in the past. Therefore I am glad to present him to you today. Michael Bell was born July 30, 1938 in Brooklyn, New York City. He mentioned that he was addicted to showing off even at 5 years old, as his mother recalled that when she sent him to the market with the exact change, he always came back with pennies, which she later found out he obtained by singing at the market. That addiction turned into determination when he got older and decided to be an actor. Now here's a correction from the man himself about his debut. Some site will contradict each other. Um, yeah, don't don't go by IMDb. It did not start in the uh, uh, in the fifties. It just has me doing some films in England or something. None of that. I'm, okay. Started in the sixties. Yeah. Okay. After your military service. After just before military service, I did some TV, which is not even in my record. I mean, I guest starred on some TV stuff, but not um, on uh, television on tape when stuff was taped and, okay. and things of that nature, but that you know you don't see that on the uh, information on imdb so he started acting on screen in the 60s then in the 70s he started doing voice work in parallel he confirmed in my interview that the first step in stopping screen acting was when shooting a scene in the 80s where he was chasing someone with a weapon in hand an alleyway or a parking lot and trying to get the, the bad guy and i've got my gun out and the director went cut and it's mike stock freeze don't move i said what what are you doing i said i'm, I'm i got the gun on him he said, yeah, and uh, where's your other hand? And I said, I was like this, and my, where's your other hand? I said, it's on my head. He said, why? I said, because my hair's falling out and I don't want anybody to see it. <laughs> Overall, Michael has an amazing curriculum. In the 70s and 80s, his earlier roles included Stutz and Raven from Hound's Cat, Ernie Devlin from the show Devlin, and both Zan and Gleek from various iteration of the Wonder Twins from the 70s to the 2000s. He did four characters on a show I watched relentlessly as a kid, the Smurfs, voicing Grouchy Smurf, Handy Smurf, Lazy Smurf, and Yoan. He was the voice of Bruce Banner in 1982's The Incredible Hulk, and on the show Voltron he was the voice of Lance and Sven. But for us Transformers fanatics, he'll be remembered for his iconic contribution to the original show. You may know him for his portrayal of the tactician Prowl. Yes, but he still has to find a way to get him back to Cybertron. The warrior sideswipe. Don't worry, nobody will notice. Just make left turns. <laughs> Swoop of the Dinobots. Other Dinobots taken to Cybertonium pits. Decepticons still look for Swoop. Constructicon Scrapper. As you order, Master Megatron. And the Insecticon Nut Cyclone is to be Bombshell. Good! I love warping minds for you, Megatron! <laughs> He's also the voice of First Aid. Mind if I sit a while and chug down a few sips of oil? Brainstorm. Human partners, highbrow! The problem is where they would inhabit us when we're in robot form! Dr. Fujiyama. Nightbird has been constructed to demonstrate to the world the limitless capabilities of technology. And Possum Brown. Ooh, don't I know it, good buddy? What most people will remember him for is, of course, his Yo Joe on the opening credit of G.I. Joe, a real American hero. Yo Joe! On that show, he's the voice of Duke, Xamot, Major Blood, Lifticket, Clutch, Scrap Iron, Blowtorch, Tollboot. Dr. Vandermeer, and Socrates Hertes. The extent of his work is too large to list all. He's credited for 310 roles from 146 titles on BehindTheVoiceActor.com. That's not even counting live action appearances. Therefore, I'll give you my list of his favorite voice from various TV shows and video games. His most impressive voice contribution to voice acting is playing 53 characters on Rugrats, most notably Drew Pickles and Chaz Finster. But I think what caught my attention the most is realizing he's been the voice of many characters of several of my favorite video games franchise. Aside from reprising the roles of Sideswipe and Scrapper in Transformers Devastation, he portrayed Patriarch, an antagonist in the second episode of the Xenosaga trilogy, a franchise I strongly recommend you try. 
He's also the voice of Medivh, known as the Prophet, or Oracle, from Warcraft 3. He's the voice of Herdalus, a recruitable character from Baldur's Gate 2. This series is where I spent a quarter of my life and I consider it to be the best RPG ever made. Finally, and I can't believe I never knew this, he's Raziel from the Legacy of Kane franchise. Yes, the same franchise that inspired my moniker and most of my gamer tags. The mighty Kane, scion of balance, would-be savior of Nosgoth, surrenders before the final battle even begins! This is what blew me away. I mean, this series had the best stories and amazing voiceover talent, and even Michael once commented that it was one of the best written script he had ever read. You don't know where it is, do you? No. You never looked for it. Another thing that surprised me is some of his on-screen roles. Most memorable role for me is Zorn from the very first episode of Star Trek The Next Generation and Counter at Farpoint. Geothermal energy is one of the great blessings of this planet. I'll have all the details of that sent to your quarters. Thank you. He's also been involved in Star Trek Deep Space Nine and also contributed to several Star Trek video games. Michael guest starred on many shows like MASH, Three's Company and Charlie's Angels and a ton of other roles. And on top of all the roles he does, he also teaches. I teach, I don't know if you notice, I also teach um, Japanese students the, the art of uh, voiceover for anime and I've been teaching for 11 years. They fly in from Osaka and uh, Tokyo and regions out there about 18, 19 years old or they really? college or late high school. And I teach about somewhere between 50 to 90 kids at a time and I have an interpreter. Michael had a wonderful career and he's been a fun actor to research. I found myself reminiscing about the countless hours playing my favorite video games, listening to the many interviews I found about Michael. When he's asked about what drew him to a specific role, his answer is often it was a job or a similar phrase. Well, let me tell you that what's a job to him was a great childhood for me, and hopefully you. I hope you've enjoyed this brief overview of Michael Bell's career. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. I love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.